Hi there, Wendy here from Draw So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw Snowball from The Secret Life of Pets. So let's get started. With Snowball, we're going to first start by drawing the top of his head. So right here, I'm going to be drawing a curve, but I'm not going to be just drawing a straight line because he is very furry. So I'm going to be using the technique that I used in my Gidget video. So please check out that video for um, uh, this technique on how to draw fur. But what you want to do is to use a um, ultra fine point Sharpie. And if you don't have this, no problems. Just use any um, marker or pen or anything that you have that uh, has a very fine point. So I'm going to come right here. I'm going to be starting to draw this curve. So I'm going to go zigzags, just very light strokes. And we're just going to zigzag it back and forth. And so that's our goal. We're trying to mimic this very soft fur. And so if you're not comfortable doing this just like this, just make sure to go ahead and draw it with a pencil first. Just draw a line, your curve, and then go back in there and um, draw the zigzags on top of it. So I'm just going to keep going. And like all my other characters that I draw for my animals, it's always smaller at the top and it widens at the bottom. So I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to get wider and wider. And I'm just going back and forth to make sure that I have it pretty much even on both sides. So I'm going to keep going. And so just know that I'm going very lightly back and forth zigzags. And sometimes you can even pick up your marker or pen and just skip little points, little um, parts of it, and so it just makes it look really nice and soft. So that's our goal, just nice and soft at the top and wider as we come to the sides. So now that we have his um, head in, let's go and draw his ears. So towards the top right here, I'm going to be drawing one ear that flops down. So I'm going to go up. So his ears are, are pretty long, so I'm just going to go up and then start to curve down and around and then from there let's go ahead and draw this line right here this curve to bring it in so under about right here i'm going to draw a curve and bring it back in and so now i know to draw the inside of the ear i'm going to come right here close to the edge i'm going to follow my outside line and then i'm going to curve it around and come back to meet up with this curve so your goal is to make this part thinner and this part wider. And so now let's draw the other ear. So I'm going to go about right here. I'm going to go up. So this one is going to be much taller because it's not folded. So just make sure it's taller than this ear. And go up higher. And then just bring it around. And come in. Curve in. And back in. So now you got that ear in, we can draw the inside of the ear now. So once again, come towards this side, this edge now, and we're going to follow the outside line. So start by right here, I'm going to follow the outside, and I'm going to curve it around, and bring it back in. So notice this part once again is thinner and this part is wider. So we got his ears in, let's bring him to life. <laughs> so right here towards the center, I'm going to draw his little pink nose. So I'm just gonna draw a little curve. So his nose is really small. And then I'm gonna connect it with a V. So up. And then right here over his little nose, I'm gonna draw a curve. And so this will give me a nice anchor to start to draw his eyes. So from here, I'm going to draw the right side first. I'm going to come across and I'm going to draw a curve. It comes all the way across. And then I'm going to start to draw his eye. Well, let's draw the other side first. So I'm going to come onto this side right here and I'm going to draw the same curve. And then from there, I'm going to start to draw his eye. So from this point right here where you curve down, go up with a big, nice curve. And bring it around. So let's do the same thing on the other side. So right here where you came down, we're gonna go up all the way 
around. So you want to get close to the edge, but not that close. Just give yourself a little bit of room right here. And so then from here, let's draw the inside. So I'm going to come over here and then just draw another curve inside. Same thing on this side, just come from here, just follow, sweep it over, and draw a big curve. So you're just giving yourself some whites on both sides. And so for these eyes, I'm just going to give it two small circles at an angle inside and shade it in. So I'm not doing the usual draw circle eyes, just two um, highlights. So I tried it with the draw circle eyes, it's kind of too weird. <laughs> so I'm keeping it as is because he's totally perfect as he is and awesome. He's got that little crazy look about him, but he's so cute. <laughs> so this is going to take me a little longer to color because I'm using the really thin Sharpie. There. So then this side, same thing, two circles at an angle and then shade it in. So I finally saw the movie and it's just so cute. <laughs> I think this Snowball and Chloe stole the show for me personally. But Snowball was just amazing. And I'm not going to give any spoilers, but my favorite part about him was when he said, I feel so heroic and handsome. <laughs> that was just so cute. I think it's in the trailers too, so I'm not I'm not actually giving any spoilers <laughs> for those that haven't seen it. So let me know in the comments below who is your favorite um, Secret Life of Pets character and if you like the movie or not. And so there, we've got his eyes in. So right here on top, I'm going to draw a curve just to anchor his eye. And then let's go in and draw his cute little smile. So I'm going to come right here. Well, let's draw the top first. Okay, we're going to draw his cheek. So we're going to continue this curve. We're going to come out a little bit right here and we're going to draw a curve. So just make sure to continue. Imagine continue. Give yourself a little break right and then curve around. So same thing here. Following here, we're going to curve it out. And so that's um, the point of that is to try to make these cheeks on both sides. So by doing this curve, you've created cheeks. So then from there, let's go straight down right here in the center. We're going to go straight down and then we're going to connect it with a big curve for his smile. Ta-da! This <laughs> is so cute! And then right here, let's draw his little teeth. So we're going to continue that line and then come in here and draw his cute little teeth. And so then we've got his head in, let's draw his little cute body. And so I'm having him hold a carrot. So just know that his body is about right here in the center. I need to draw his arms. So I'm going to come out. So about his body would be right here. I'm drawing his arms about come over a little bit. And I'm just going to zigzag a little bit. Not a lot because it's pretty small. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go around for his hand. And the inside here, I'm going to have him hold a carrot. So I'm going to come out here with a curve. Bring it back in. So I'm going to start to draw the carrot. So imagine it's being overlapped. Going around. And then right here for some details, let's draw the curves for this carrot. Just to give it some detail. So it makes it look more 3D and not flat. And so then from here, we're going to draw two curves down. And that's for the leaves. So I'm just going to do some really simple leaves. Just curve it around. Nothing. It's not very important right here. Just two little leaves right there for the carrots. And then, I mean for the carrot. <laughs> and then right here we're going to go across right here and draw his other arm. So once again, just make sure you kind of know where the body is. So about the arm would be here. And I'm going to go around. So this arm's fairly simple. It just comes down, loops around. And then from here, we're going to draw his body. So under this carrot, I'm going to start to draw a curve. And I'm going to, once again, do that little technique, doing the fur, zigzag. Just going to curve it. And all the way around. So it's a nice curve all the way. 
and connect it. So that's the shape that you're trying to aim for. And so then come to the side right here when you draw his little feet. So I'm going to pop out a curve and I'm going to bring it in. Soften it and then bring it in. And then right here I'm going to draw two curves for his little paw. And then right here, his foot I mean. And so come here, curve once again, bring it around and in. This one got a little bit fat. <laughs> and once again, two curves. And so now let's go in here. I'm just going to draw some zigzags right here, a little curve, and maybe one on here, just so that it doesn't look so flat. Give um, for just to make it look like he has the fur right there in his body. And so let's anchor him to the ground. So we're going to draw a straight line across. Go right across. Boop. And right here, <laughs> I couldn't resist. I'm going to draw some circles. And if you've seen the trailer or the movie, <laughs> you know what these circles are, so I'm not going to say it. <laughs> so there, my snowball from The Secret Life of Pets. Make sure to please check out my other Secret Life of Pets character drawings too. And if you're still having problems with the fur, just check out the Gidget video. And I have step-by-step -step instructions on there uh, for this technique. So thank you so much for watching. And please subscribe to get updates on more Draw So Cute videos.